up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to throw random things up here 450 centimeters from the bottom into that trampoline. You guys really enjoyed the first one, so I'm gonna do some more. Luckily, I have so many more things to throw. There are just so many things you can throw in the trampoline. So we're gonna start with this pineapple, okay? I don't have a pen, but I have a pineapple. Apple pen. I have a pen. I have a apple. Uh, apple pen. In three, two, one. Woo! Whoa! Oh, that pineapple is surviving. That is why SpongeBob lives in pineapples, because they're so durable. Look at that pineapple right there. Ah! Okay, never mind. The pineapple fell in that. Hey, throw that back to me. There you go. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? Ooh, this pineapple juice is good. All right, I'm gonna throw it down with more force because I did it just free fall. So what if I add more velocity behind the acceleration? Force equals mass volume. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. I think my goal, at least the end of this video, I wanna see if I can throw something on the big trampoline and it'll hop right to the smaller trampoline. So I have here small melons, okay? There's this thing called the popcorn effect. If you drop something at the same time and they both land almost at the same time, the other one that lands a little later will get boosted higher. So let's see if that theory is true. Here we go, three, two, one, boom. Whoa! That's what you call a melon. Okay, so I have a third melon. Let me see if I can try to make it land on top of the other melon. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! which is right over there. That melon is perfectly intact, right there in the corner. No bumps, no bruises. Okay, next up I got two big watermelons. Wish me luck. Hopefully don't land in the trampoline. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! Oh, I did it, I did it! I did it! Yes! What you got on me, dude, perfect. I made it hop on one trampoline to the other trampoline. Yo, let's see that again in slow motion. Small All right guys, so I have one more watermelon. I'm gonna throw this down with force, like extreme force. Three, two, one. The watermelon exploded. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so um, unfortunately the trampoline is cracked, but it's okay. I mean, as long as it still works, it's cool. So we still got a lot more stuff to throw, so let's do this thing. So uh, we're gonna go into a smaller scale this time. It's a little bit harder, so careful down there. Don't get hurt with this coconuts. Cause it might make you cocoa nuts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, if it hits you in the head. Yeah, same time, here we go. Three, two, one, dropping. Okay, all right, that's a little bit anticlimactic just because it's just so hard in the shell, but that's okay. That's why I got a catalog. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, that was anticlimactic. Yeah, make sure you wear a helmet while you bike because if you don't, your head's gonna look like that. So make sure you always wear a seatbelt and helmets, floss your teeth. You're gonna get a concussion if you don't. All right, guys, I know what you're saying. This video is a little bit bananas. If you love fruits, let's give this video a big thumbs up because without fruits, there wouldn't be a space. Here we go. Three, two, one, bananas. Oh, oh man. Oh, dude, throw me back that banana. I feel like the bananas wanna go more bananas. Yeah! Okay, that works too. All right, next up we have this block game. I'm not sure what it's called. I can't really say it because it's copyright. We're gonna throw some Jenga. That's right, I said it. Here we go. Three, two, one, Jenga. Oh! Jenga. Wakanda. So this goes out to all the Five Nights at Freddy's fans out there. If you love it, give this video a big thumbs up. We got here some Freddy Fast Bears. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! And that 
That is how you win Five Nights at Freddy's. Just kill Freddy and you good boy. You good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got some romaine lettuce. So let us do this. Here we go. Woo. All right. Here's another one more violent. Oh, wow. The less mass you have, uh, the less force you have because mass over volume equals the force, which means the speed of the acceleration. If you take the mass and the velocity and you square it, so mainly the heavier it is, the more force it'll be. All right, next up, we got the emoji here. How about if I spin it? I'm gonna spin the emoji while going. Three, two, one. All right, next up I have two butternut squashes. So for this one, I'm gonna try to forcefully throw it as hard as I can, both of them at the same time. So let's see what it does. Will it do the popcorn effect, but a lot stronger? We're about to find out. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! Are you good? Yeah. All right. Whoa! Two gallons of milk. What will it be like if I throw it down the milk? Now, come on, come down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, good catch, dude. Oh, no. Hey, good catch, dude. It has a lot of velocity, so I'm going to make sure it's sealed tight, because the worst thing that can happen is uh, if it comes unsealed and splatters everywhere. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, so the milk did some work and damage. Let's see what happens with this Coca-Cola. But first, let me shake it up. Okay, now let's do this. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was wild, dude. And that is how you make a Coca-Cola rocket ship, dude. That's insane. Look at the mess down here. But it's okay. That is why you buy a shop bag. And that's why you prep beforehand. DIY Coke rocket. Three, two, one, go. All right, that one's not working. Okay, it's cool. We have here ingredients for salad and uh, some ranch. It doesn't taste the best, but some people love it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Don't worry guys, we are going to conserve this and eat it. So whatever is not broken, we will eat it. Actually, we're just gonna eat this after this. So don't worry guys. Since the Coke rocket didn't work, I have here the Coca-Cola fridge. Will this thing survive the fall? Here we go. And three, two, one. Alright everyone, thank you all for watching. We got a lot of cleanup to do as you can see. We got a whole bunch of milk, random things going on. But, we will get this done. Everything will be good. If you want me to do more videos like this, throwing random things in the trampolines and see how they react, and you want to see how they splatter, let me know in the comments down below. Once again, let's give this video a big thumbs up if you love fruits. I'm gonna make a salad. <laughs> let's make a salad. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay douche. <laughs>